Hey guys, I'm sorry that I'm only doing an updated makeup collection video now only because I did a lot of transitioning and I just finally was able to organize all of my makeup due to the fact that my daughter is a little bit of a makeup addict herself. She is always in my makeup, like always. I finally was able to organize everything to the T so I wanted to show you guys my updated makeup collection and this is not a form of bragging please don't take it that way a lot of you guys just wanted to see my makeup collection and how much it's grown throughout the years so I do hope you guys enjoy this video it's gonna be a little bit long because I am gonna be showing you everything in depth and if you do have any questions as far as where I got a couple things, uh, just comment below. If you guys are not interested in videos like this, don't bother watching. It's a lot of makeup. Good girl! Yay! Um, I personally love watching makeup collection videos because it kind of gives me ideas as far as how to store makeup and whatnot. So I do hope you guys enjoy this. I miss all of you guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. And I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I have a couple that I still need to upload. I do, however, hope you guys enjoyed my previous video of my daughter dancing. Thank you for all of your support and love. I know I haven't been on here as much as I would like to be, but I promise you I have videos coming for you guys. So I do have a couple videos when I had my old hair. So if you guys are wondering, uh, did she change her hair no it was just an old video so enough rambling I know this video is long enough I just wanted to come to you guys and say hi and thank you so much for everything and that I finally did the highly requested video of my makeup collection or my updated makeup collection so if you guys want to see my updated makeup collection go ahead and keep on watching I'll talk to you guys later Mwah. all right guys so welcome to my mini makeup counter <laughs> um let's see let's go start off with this section right here um don't mind this area right here i'm still trying to put back um my lipsticks and try to find a home for all my extra ones um but let's go ahead and start off with my brushes this is that kitchen something Spark it showed a video on how she stores her brushes, so very convenient. This is all of my makeup brushes. And then over here, I have this little divider um, that I got from my MAC counter. Uh, they had extras and we had a contest, so I was able to take it home. Um, here, I have my sharpeners, my tweezers and scissors. All of these in here are my uh, liquid liners, my chapstick, and my clip whenever I do uh, makeup. Just, you know, it's just there if I need it. I have my, a few of my, um, like my limited edition MAC lipsticks. Um, again, I have these ones, but I don't know where to put them just yet. Um, this is my MAC mirror. Um, here I have all of my mascaras, my um, eyebrow gels, um, eyebrow pencils, and then like my extras. And then in this little cup holder is where I store all of my lip pencils. And then here is where I store all of my eyeliner pencils. Um, like I have, what is this? This is one of my favorite black eyeliners and then I have different colored ones and then these vary in brands. And then this is my mirror that I do my makeup on every morning. And then in here are my dirty brushes that I need to clean. And I have, hi. And then I have a tissue box, and then here I have all my benefit goodies that I have not been able to play with just yet. Hopefully I get the chance to play with it soon. Okay, so here is my little MAC brush holder. This is in its own home because this is when my 
I go somewhere. Um, you can get this at the Mac Pro Store. Um, this is like if I travel, if I'm on the go, I keep all of my everyday brushes that I use in here, including like my iDuo and stuff. All right, up here I have all of my palettes um, from Sedona Lays, BH Cosmetics, Coastal Scents back here. And then in here I have my MAC palettes and it's clear containers. I'm trying to transfer all of mine. And then um, I have my Urban Decay palette. I have my color wheel. If you guys don't have this, this is very important to have. I have just my essential ones. I'm. This is going to be like my on the go. I'm going to put blushes in here and whatnot. But this is just like my everyday go to. This was in my. These colors were in my Elf little quad thing that I always show in my videos. But I transferred it into here. Um, I have more Mac palettes. Um, that I have not been able to transfer just yet only because they're so full and once I get more colors I'll, I'll transfer them in there. Um, I'm not going to be transferring these ones because these ones are so full. And then in here I have all of my quads. Just a couple random ones in the old, old quad. In here uh, the first drawer are all of my um, loose shadows. Um, I stopped depotting. I do have some mineral um, eyeshadows in here. I have my Urban Decay in the back. This is my only Inglot palette. I have um, NYX in here. A couple of drugstore brands. Sally Makeup. Uh, Elf. Um, my MAC holiday palettes from a long time ago. These are all my duos. I have several duos in there. I have um, all of my loose shadows from MAC. I have my Makeup Forever in there. There's that drawer. Moving on to the second drawer are all of my primers. Cream colored bases. I have all of my cream colored bases. Um, you know, primers just to kind of intensify shadows. I have really old ones too, like uh, my Metal X. These were a long time ago. These were the cream shadows. Um, I have my paints, some hip, Inglot, the uh, Maybelline color tattoo primers. Let's see, and then these are the electric cool shadows. Like my old um, paint pots. Again, pink colored bases. The Dura line from Inglot. It's amazing if you have dried out stuff like these. I have some Chroma line. All of my fluid lines. This is new. I love this. It's the pink one called Feminine Edge. So, this is where I keep all of my, I guess, primers and, you know, bases. And then in this last drawer, I have all of my face stuff. This drawer was so full of old foundations that I had to, like, knock them out and throw them away because they've been in, it, been in there for such a long time. But these are the foundations that I have. Um, I have some bare essentials, which I rarely ever use. This is Max Prep and Prem Transparent Powder, my mineralized skin finishes, um, my favorite primer, this is Natural Radiance, um, my NARS, have some concealers in here, uh, powders and such. Uh, this is my Match Master Foundation. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, brightening concealer type thing. Um, concealer that I haven't used yet. Primers, and then my favorite moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer, and you'll see why I love it so much. And then again, concealer. So everything that I use for my face is in here. So concealers, moisturizers, 
moisturizers, primers, foundations, powders, etc. are in here. Alright, here again are the lipsticks that I still need to sort out and find a, a, a home because the place that I actually hold my lipsticks is not enough to hold. But in here, like these ones, I have yet to use. I have not used these yet. Um, all under here are my matte teen lipsticks. I'm a sucker for matte teen. And they're just matte lipsticks from that. are limited. So I have those in there that I need to find a home. So let's go ahead and move on to my makeup storage. Okay, so excuse the baby girl's crib thingy, but this is where I store my makeup. This is very, very old. And excuse the mess, my daughter's trying to get in. Um, but here is my old makeup storage you guys have seen in my other video my other makeup collection video but it's still here and I finally organized it to my liking so let's go ahead and start off at the top this is my lipstick tower this was actually broken and was ready to be tossed in the garbage but I was like let me take it and um, my husband was able to fix it for me but this is where I store some of my lipsticks. Again, I do have to find a home for my other ones. So these are all my MAC lipsticks. Um, I have Sheen Supreme and then I have Viva Glam at the top. And then these are in order by textures and by textures they're in order alphabetically. Um, and then I did put like a sticker for like F for frost and then it's in alphabetical order from the texture. In here, this is where I store my makeup if I'm on the go. Back there is just like um, nail polish remover, brush cleanser, stuff like that. Um, moisturizer, have some cotton rounds, my finishing spray, Fix Plus, and then hair clips. All right, so here is, sorry if it's a little bit wobbly. I'm gonna try to focus this. So here is my makeup drawer or makeup storage. The first drawer are all of my powders, like my mineralized skin finishes. Um, I want to be careful because these are so flimsy. I love this um, drawer set, but it's so flimsy. If it knocks off, you can really drop all of this. I was only able to do this now because my daughter, she's only 15 months old, but she is crazy about my makeup, and she has messed with all of them. So. I've finally got the chance to organize and fix everything so um, that's why I wanted to do a video before it gets messed up or before she messes it up but I have all of my beauty powders in here limited um, powders like this I have all of my skin finishes uh, there's a line on there because it's gratis um, again all of my skin finishes in here I have some elf blush NARS. Um, these are loose powders. So any highlighting, contouring, blushes. I have a cargo sample blush thing there. But all of my limited bronzers and powders are in here. Okay, moving down to this orange drawer are all of my pigments, loose shadows. Um, I do have my mixing mediums in there, which I've had for a while. Uh, loose shadows from like face front cosmetics um, uh, These are my crushed metal pigments um, this is the Solar bits for Mac As you can see I've been collecting for a long time and working for Mac has its perks too all of my pigments the old packaging from the new packaging. I have some um, obsessive compulsive cosmetics loose powders or pigments when I went to IMAX a couple years ago um, that I still have to play with. This is an ink, this one is an inkblot um, loose shadow or pigment. This is makeup forever. So just all my loose shadows and pigments in here. Down here in this green one, I have all of my 
my MAC lip glosses that are not in the original tubes. So these are like the longer ones, like Dazzle Glass, uh, Cream Sheen, Longwears, 3D Glass, even these tri-colored ones. Sorry if there's a glare. So those are my tri-colored ones. All my kissable lip colors are in here. These are the Dazzle Glasses. I do, some, I do have some Sheen Supreme lip glasses. All of my lip gloss tubes are in here, and then all of my like lip balms or the lip and cheek colors, tender tones, um, lip conditioners, such as this. This is one of my favorite balms and lip conditioners, which are sadly discontinued. And then I have this really limited edition one from long time ago. This is their Super Glass. So high pigmentation lip glosses for that. Um, what else do I have in here? I have my lip erase that I've had for a long time now. And then again, all my lip glosses are in here. All of my long, long tubes or, um, you know, this is from the Marilyn Monroe collection called uh, Little Rock. It's not in special packaging again. Uh, Mac has its perks and then in this drawer are all of my lashes that I use so I have Mac lashes in here some red cherries dollar lashes oh in here are my extra pan shadows when I depot or um, when I press pigments uh, more lashes that I got from eBay a long time ago lashes here uh, my favorite lashes are 35s from Mac and then 48s are my next favorite lashes from MAC. Okay, and then I have my lash colors, scissors, tweezers. Down here and really not the important stuff. These are just like my extra like stuff that I use a lot of and it's just my backup. So these are all of my backup uh, things that I really love. For example, a backup of my, one of my favorite mascaras, the They're Real from Benefit. I have a back of a brush cleanser. You can never have too much brush cleanser because I use that like crazy. Fix Plus and of course my makeup wipes. I love these. And then of course a backup of my moisturizer because I love them so much. And then in here are again my backups of random. As you can see, 35s are my favorite lashes. <laughs> these are not used yet because um, at one point, Mac was on a hiatus with the 35s. They were gonna discontinue them, so I try to stock up, but no worries, they're back now. So these are my favorites. Um, the backup of mascara, of a lash, a dollar lash, a backup of the conditioner lip balm from Elf. Backup of this. Backup of mascara, another lip balm. These are just my backups. And then BioSil because I cannot live without this. I love this stuff for my hair. These are my backups. So Match Master, my uh, quads from e.l.f. Um, I just designed them. Uh, my backups of my favorite things that are limited. So if I love something that's limited, I get more than one, sadly. Uh, like this one. This one is the Magnetic Attraction Mineralized eyeshadow. This one's an extra um, backup of my favorite lip and cheek color. So these are just, you know, if I run out, but they're limited. Or just my, just my extras. It's always safe to put it in there. Alright, moving to this side now. I'm going to start from the top. These are all of my blushes. So I don't wanna, I wanna be careful because I really don't wanna drop this. These are all of my finalized blushes, my regular blushes, my cream blushes. I have blush palettes in the back. These are my MAC ones. Um, and these are limited and permanent. So Hey Sailor, Marilyn Monroe, just, and these are my favorite blush ombres. Um, I have my cream, my cream bronzer from MAC from the Surf 
baby. And then I have um, a Coastal Scents palette down there. But these are all of my blushes. Okay, all of my blushes. And again, I've been collecting for such a long time, so that's why I have so many. And here is, I'm slowly building up my pigment collection. So these are just extras that I didn't have room, but limited edition stuff. Uh, crushed metal pigments. I'm sorry guys for the glare. So, oh my daughter's crying. So in this drawer, I have all of my lip glosses. I finally put them in order so I can see them by color. Um, I had all of my lip glosses in one drawer and I kid you not, I was not able to really find what I was looking for because they were all jumbles and they were a hot mess. But here I can find everything. So I have lip glosses, 3D glasses, plush glasses, luster glasses, chrome glasses. So heavy duty collector from the beginning. <laughs> so this is my um, lip gloss drawer. And then down here is another set of my lip gloss drawers. So I have permanent, limited lip glosses. So, you guys remember this? I love this one. This is the 3D gloss. I love the top. See that? So I can now see every lip gloss that I own. And then in here, I have all of my non-MAC lipsticks and lip glasses and chapsticks and whatever so here i have my um occ lip tars i have like six of them here they're my fave these are my favorite lipsticks and they're so cheap these are the wet and wild ones um i have elf lancome the victoria's secret juicy tubes down there i have all my nyx lipsticks um, I have Benefit lipstick there. I did have an Inglot lipstick, but it's in my purse because I just used it recently. I have Revlon. My Inglot lip paint in here. Buxom. Givenchy. Givenchy. However you guys want to pronounce it. Givenchy. Givenchy. Um... I have my uh, baby lips, my Revlon lip butters. These are my favorite lipsticks from CoverGirl. No, Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline. These are all my favorite Maybelline lipsticks. I have NYX Neutrogena. This one I've had for so many years. Um, even before they said that this was a dupe for uh, NARS's Turkish Delight. I was on this way before that hype. And then I have Buxom, my favorite. I have another Buxom, but it's in my bag. Um, Revlon, and then more Revlon, and then L'Oreal. So I have that in there. And then lastly is just a couple nail polishes that I have. I do have another drawer full of nail polishes. So if you guys want to see that, I'm not a big nail freak, but I do have a good nail polish collection. But these are just a few that I've been using lately. And I love this stuff because it does make my nails hard. I really, really like it. And then my favorite top coat. As you can see, I need another bottle. I have my nail, nail clipper, nail file. And then these are just my extra palettes that I still have to fill up. So that's basically it. I do hope you guys enjoy this. And thank you so much for watching. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you guys soon.